Hello and welcome to episode 146 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with game two in the Zerg vs Protoss matchup from the IPL. First up, we have our Red Zerg player. He is the creator of the universe. He's the ZVZ master. His name is I M N S T. And opposing him, taking the first game very, very handily with some brilliant strategy, using immortals to crush roaches, along with some good sentry force fields. His name is Star Tail Squirtle. So, once again, we have I Am Nest T vs Star Tail Squirtle, and it is exciting, mate. Absolutely love both of these players. Squirtle used to bore me, I must admit. I used to groan when I heard that it was a Squirtle game, but lately he has been playing so well. Interesting. First pile on outside of his base, so probably going to be going for a very quick Nexus here. Uh, and hoping Nest T does not do any kind of rush. We shall wait and see, though, what comes out. Of Squirtle. He's already at 13 probes with no gateway, so possibly going straight up Nexus. We'll wait and see. 14, no Nexus. Queuing up a lot of probes here. Uh, not too big of a fan of that, but in the early game it doesn't really matter. And we have pull first again from Nesty. So Nesty is going to be look uh, is going to look to be quite aggressive at the beginning of this game. And, oh yep, it is Nexus first. Not a surprise. Interestingly though, this time, Squirtle drops the Forge before the Nexus. In game one, we saw the Nexus go down before the Forge. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, perhaps wary that Nesty knew about that and would perhaps try to punish him for that in this game. He is dropping the Forge first. Now the Nexus will go down, and then a Cannon and a Gateway. Uh, possibly Gateway first, in fact, and then Cannon. We shall see what Squirtle decides to do, and oh, look at this, ah, ha, ha, Nesty taking a hidden second expansion, uh, sorry, a hidden first expansion, a hidden second base, wanting Squirtle to think that perhaps he was going to do something super aggressive, but Squirtle saw it, Squirtle knows this is there, as you can see there, so Nesty not getting away with that at all, we have the cannon and the gateway going down now, so Squirtle going to be safe in the early game. And that allows me to talk, very briefly, about the other projects I'm doing. Of course, I'm now working for Vapor Entertainment over at youtube.com forward slash Vapor Game, where every Friday you can see a new replay analysis by me. These videos are very short. They're normally around the 10-minute mark. So, of course, if someone is new to StarCraft or, in fact, doesn't even know about StarCraft 2, you can please, please, please use my videos to introduce them to StarCraft 2. It's a very good introduction system as we see Nest Heat take a third base here. Uh, besides that, I am also now being hosted over on EasyStarCraft.com. There you go. EasyStarCraft.com right there. There are many other good casters there. There's some good strategy stuff on that website. And of course, uh, it is going to gain me an even bigger audience. So those of you who watch me already, be prepared to be joined by even more. Which will be awesome. Now, still not a great deal going on. This is going to be the fun bit. What is Squirtle doing with this probe over here? Because there's a pile on here. Twilight Council being hidden at the back of the base. Okay. So, Squirtle going to base tech. Adding more gas as we speak. What is this going to be? Let's take a look at the units right now. Two zealots out. One gateway. This is not Stalkers. I would I would put money on it now. I would put money on this being High Templar, perhaps Archons uh, for Archon Zealot, or, uh, in which case we'd see him spam a load more gateways down very, very shortly, or this is Dark Templar, and he's going to hope that Nesty has no observers whatsoever. Come on, Probe, work your magic. What's it going to be? Okay, Dark Shrine. Squirtle is going to do some Dark Templar Harass. Now, right now, Nesty has nothing to defend against it. He has no Evolution Chamber. He has no Lair. There is nothing he can do 
to see the Dark Templar. Excuse me while I cough. <coughs> ah, thank you. Throat still a little dry. It's a very, very warm day right uh, right now in England. Uh, I'm absolutely boiling into this. I do have to close my window and my door and all and turn the fan off so that you can hear me and not random bird noises. Now these zealots are going to push out onto the map. We have a probe that is going to drop a pylon that will start warping in Dark Templars. We do have this pylon over here but it is a long distance away from this third base. He's going to want something a bit closer perhaps. Oh I'm excited. The Dark Shrine is about to finish. And we are going to see some Dark Templars being warped in. Lair is on the way, but it's going to be a while yet. So, no overseas. Evolution Chamber is on the way as well, in fact. Oh, but it's going to take some time. We have another pylon going down. Here come the Dark Templar. Three Dark Templar. That is the level of, oh my god, I really friggin' hope this guy does not have detection. And he doesn't, so he's going to be able to get in and kill his queen. He's going to do a ton of damage to these drones. Now we have Zerglings coming up. They're going to take down this pylon. But this pylon's still here. The Dark Templar, in fact, going to kill this hatchery. Oh my word, that is huge. So Nessie is going to be stuck on two base for a while. Until he gets that detection out. Three Dark Templar do so much damage. There are roaches here, but they can't do anything because there's no defences yet. Now the lair finishes. Overseer is morphing. These DTs have a very limited shelf life now. They need to do the damage before they are caught. He's not adding any more DTs, so this is his strategy. Four DTs in total. Three now. They are being picked off. There go the DTs. One lone DT left. Trying to escape, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, he's away. He's going to kill even more drones. Uh, or not. Or he's just going to stand there. He kills one more drone. Now he's going to die. So let's take a look at this. Man, that is not enough. It's not enough. Whoops. Would help if I could hit the right numbers, wouldn't it? That is... It's just not enough damage. Four DTs cost so much money. And all he did was shut down a third base of Nest T, which Nest T can now go and remake. And kill seven drones. Nest T now, with a huge advantage, he's 109 supply to 81. And it's going to take time for this tech switch to come into effect. We have the robo going down. We have more and more gateways going up all the time. But, Squirtle is behind from here. And look at this. Nesty drops the third base. Doesn't even bother with that one down here. He's just going to push forward and take this one now. Nesty has a ton of money banked. He's getting Burrow. He's getting Zergling speed and Roach speed. He's just going to do exactly what he wants. He's going to scout the front. He's not going to see anything new because that's still very walled off. And nicely from Squirtle. Kept his army back in the main. So that Nesty didn't even see what kind of composition he was going for. We have a Spire coming now. But there are Blink Stalkers out. Which are kind of the bane of muters. But it could be for a later transition into Broodlords. We have the first Observer on the way. Gonna try, uh, sorry, the first Observer out now. Gonna try and get some scouting done. Uh, he's gonna try warping in another DT. This is not gonna work. Um, if this does anything at all. See, not even a third there that he can harass. Yeah, this is not going to do anything. The Overseer should be nearby. There we go. DT trying to escape now. Roach is moving around the side. It looks like Nesty wants to just push in and engage. He's got the Overseer with him in case DTs are still coming. We have plus one melee attack. Interesting going for the Zergling uh, attack upgrade. He already, of course, has the plus one attack for the Roaches. Now he's going to move in with the speed link. He's going to see that it's an almost entirely Stalker composition. And he is going to be filled with glee. Because these Roaches will decimate these Stalkers. There are not enough Immortals out. In fact, there are no Immortals out at this point. There is just the one DT. Which is... Uh, I, don't, I don't know where that went, in fact. Oh, here it is. It's wandering around the centre of the map. It's going to try and attack some roaches. They're just going to stand there and wait until the overseer comes. Bye-bye, DT. 
Okay, Zerg, Flyer Attack's level one on the way. So, Nessie is definitely going to look to make muters at this point. All it's going to take is one really good engagement, and man, this is over for Squirtle. Nessie right now with such an advantage. Squirtle just not able to do anything. Nessie is a base up here, the better unit composition, and he has more supply. He has everything. He's getting an infestation pit. So going to transition into Infestors. Ho oh, ho! Nesty is just ignoring the army of Squirtle, saying, I have enough economy to be fine at home. I am just going to come in and kill stuff in your main base. Now, the Overseer is not here yet. In fact, the Overseer was picked off, was it? Oh, there's two more, though. And he's morphing more. So, yeah, Squirtle, though, he is going to get this third base now. Perhaps not the wisest move of Nesty to sidestep Squirtle's army when he has an army that can kill it. But the Roaches are coming in now. These Stalkers are semi-trapped. They do have Blink. Nesty just wants to get a good angle of attack. Can they, can they Blink over there? Oh, that was a bad Blink! Really bad Blink by Squirtle! Traps half of his Stalkers away from the rest. And they are all going to go down now. You need to shift-click your Blink to get over there. Oh, that was so bad. Even now, losing more Stalkers. Oh, ho, ho, Squirtle supply is halved. Nesty in a commanding lead. Squirtle still on two base. Nesty did lose that third base. And Matt Squirtle actually has a ton of bank that he's doing nothing with. Squirtle playing really badly right now. Not establishing a third base. This Roach army is just going to kill everything here. Um, what is he doing? He's building one immortal at a time and walking in a few stalkers. That's not enough. You've got over a thousand minerals. You need to be establishing extra bases or building more production structures. As it is, Nesty's remaking the third. But his roaches are just going to come in here and kill all of these stalkers. Because why the hell not? No overseer here yet. So the DT is doing damage. But there are so many roaches, frankly, it just doesn't matter. Nesty at this point is miles ahead and look at that just burrows no observer here it's all the way over there so again popping up doing more damage the roach is healed now more roaches appearing more zerglings coming in this is the beginning of the end for Squirtle the immortal goes down Squirtle just does not have the defense here everything at this front is going to die the cannons go down the forge is going to go down 22 more zergling in production the hatchery finishes so once again, Nesty is on three base versus two base, and the two base is rapidly becoming one base because there's hardly any minerals left in that main base, and Squirtle is trapped in here right now. Nesty with a huge, huge lead right now, both in supply and just in terms of this game. The Roaches pop up, the Overseer is here, so the DC is not going to do anything more. And bye-bye, Squirtle. This army, too, is going to die. I mean, this is a nice place for him to engage, but if the Cybercore goes down, that means no more Stalkers, and the Roaches can get a better spread to get in here, especially if they take down that pylon. That is going to be it. Very shortly, this game is going to be over. Nesty is not making any drones. Okay, I say that. He then makes four drones. So Nesty thinking economically, but he's just adding more Roaches, bringing them in here to do the damage. Squirtle just has no answer for this. He's having to rebuild his Cybercore. He's got hardly any money left. He can't take a third base. Nesty's just going to take them out at his leisure. And he's just going to keep this pressure on while he does it. Taking down Squirtle very, very easily. Man, what a difference game two is to game one. Nesty's play very, very crisp. And Squirtle banking an awful lot on those DTs and them doing nothing. There's the GG from Squirtle. Ties the series up. At 1-1, Nesty, very impressive. Similar strategy of yesterday. Uh, the difference is that Squirtle just handled it terribly. Went for the DTs, went for a nice tricksy build, and they ended up doing absolutely nothing in terms of damage. And the Roaches just came in, no Immortals, nothing but Stalkers, and just smashed him aside. Well, a very good game. I'm excited for game number three coming tomorrow, because really I have no idea who's going to win this. Squirtle, man. Squirtle just needs a better opening. DTs was not the right way to go there. Um, especially not DTs into Stalker when you know that Nesty likes Roaches so much. That would have been a good idea if Nesty had gone straight into Muta, but that just wasn't going to happen. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow, as always, with Game 3 of I Am Nesty versus Startel Squirtle. I have been your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain. 
Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a lovely evening. I'll see you all tomorrow.